1619, America's first marijuana law was enacted at Jamestown Colony, Virginia, ordering all farmers to grow hemp seed. More mandatory hemp cultivation laws were enacted in Massachusetts in 1631, in Connecticut in 1632, and in the Chesapeake colonies into the mid-1700s. Even in England, the much sought after prize of full British citizenship was bestowed by a decree of the crown on foreigners who would grow cannabis, and fines were often levied against those who refused. Cannabis was legal tender in most of the Americas from 1631 until the early 1800s. Why? To encourage American farmers to grow more. You could pay your taxes with hemp throughout America for over 200 years. You could even be jailed in America for not growing cannabis during several periods of shortage. Benjamin Franklin started one of America's first paper mills with cannabis. This allowed America to have a free colonial press without having to beg or justify the need for paper and books from England. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson grew cannabis on their plantations. Jefferson, while envoy to France, went to great expense and even considerable risk to himself and his secret agents to get good hemp seeds smuggled illegally into Turkey from China. The Chinese political rulers so valued their hemp seed that they made its exportation a capital offense. The United States Census of 1850 counted 8,327 hemp plantations that were all a minimum of 2,000 acre farms, growing cannabis for cloth, canvas, and even cordage for baling cotton. Most of these plantations were located in the South, primarily because of cheap slave labor available prior to 1865 for the labor-intense hemp industry. This figure does not include the tens of thousands of smaller farms growing cannabis. Various marijuana and hashish extracts were the first, second, and third most prescribed medicines in the United States from 1842 until the 1890s. Its medicinal use continued legally throughout the 1930s. Cannabis extract medicines were produced by Eli Lilly, Parker Davis, Tildens, Brothers Smith, Squibb, and many other American and European companies. During all this time, there was not one reported death from cannabis extract medicines and virtually no abuse or mental disorders reported, except for the first time or novice users occasionally becoming disoriented or overly introverted. The earliest known woven fabric was apparently of hemp, which began to be worked in the 18th millennium. For more than a thousand years before the time of Christ until 1883, cannabis was our largest agricultural crop and most important industry involving thousands of products and enterprises, producing the overall majority of Earth's fiber, fabric, lighting oil, paper, incense, and medicines. It was a primary source of essential food oil and protein, 